and mounted all right this is kilo k tv and i am your host kilo k co-hosting with mr le party how you doing mr le party good all right so if you guys don't remember i did do a review on his ford fiesta st in the tony or what 1.6 oh god it's a 1.6 guys so he's done quite some things to uh to his little party hold on hold on, hold on. you guys got to hear this What kind of car are we in again? It's a Ford Fiesta 2016. Um, the, the ST model. It's a 1.6. It's just a 1.6. Alright, so last time last time I believe that we did um, a review on it, all you had was the um, what, what is it? The, the, the Mumba um, exhaust? Oh, no, no. The Mumba. Uh, um, it's the tile blow valve. Uh, shorty dual. Uh, dual port. So that I believe that was the only thing that you had. You didn't even have the exhaust. So go ahead and oh, hold on, hold on, guys. We're in the tunnel. You got it. Oh, hopefully, let's see what it does. <laughs> oh, this guy's looking at me like, what the fuck is wrong with this bitch? <laughs> hey. <laughs> Woo! All right. So go ahead and let him know what you've done to uh, this uh, pulga. Uh, so what it has done, it's um, the front mount intercooler depot racing. I have hot side, cold side. I have catless downpipe, uh, stratify tune with snap, crackle pop. Uh, high flow filter from Cobb. Uh, well, obviously the access port. And uh, that's about it. So oh, and rear mo rear motor mount, which it's not a performance, I guess, but it just keeps the wheels on the floor. Oh God! Horsepower, no more than 200. Torque, no more than like 230, 240 torque. And aside of that, that this all engine mod, you haven't done any suspension work or wheel work, have you? No. Uh, any any coming soon? Possibly. Uh, I was thinking about some 1552s. Uh, I believe they are the. It's a five spoke, I forgot which one it's called. You have to take that out. <laughs> oh god, it's something he wants, but he doesn't know what it's called. Well, last, last I remember, you were able to have a um, an E85 blend, right? Right. How does that blend work? So, the way that blend works, uh, it's not a full blown E85 mix or fuel that you can put in it. Uh, it's a E30 blend, so you have to put 30% E85 and uh, the other 70% 91 fuel pump. Uh, in my case, I put about like, three and a half gallons of E85, and the rest is uh, 91. As you guys can tell, guys, he's done a lot of the engine mod to it. Oh my God, he's never gonna get too old. Um, no suspension work, no wheel work, so. Compared to the drive back then, is the exact same. When you go to Mexico, <clears throat> what's your competition out there? Uh, I don't know. It depends what part of Mexico you're going to. Oh God. Um, I heard uh that you could uh, keep up to Evos. Uh, there there is one particular Evo that <laughs> I don't know. It's an MR, but. I doesn't know how to drive it or what, but um, I can surprisingly take him. It's oh. not gapping him, but I take him. I don't know. Damn. It's a small little car. You guys see it around. He's like, oh, it's just a Fiesta. 
and Chancho went ahead and put a uh, it's just a 1.6 sticker in the, in the back ever since people are just like let me race that little punani and sure enough all the time trying to head up what, what's a snap crackle pop to um, so it just makes it so when you let go off the throttle uh, it pops or gargles um, there's three different types of tunes for that there's well, one without any and then there's a, a, med a progressive which it's a little bit less louder than the loudest one and the amount of uh, pops are also reduced a bit and then there's the the loudest one which is the one that has the loudest pops and it has uh, faster back to back right now we're on the the progressive one so that's not even the loudest one so it's not the loudest one <laughs> Oh god. Alright guys, so we're gonna go ahead and do let's do a couple of throttles. We have the GoPro mounted in the back. I'm not sure I didn't keep an eye on it. Probably it's not there anymore, but <laughs> here so it should be this clip right here gonna go ahead and give it a hundred percent throttle let's see how how much of a difference that makes and that should be the clip right here uh... looking at us like oh what the fuck I'd be scared myself too what kind of feedback do you get with the pops uh, it's kind of like a mixed thing some some people are kind of I mean I would be scared if I was outside too because everything that's on the news but uh, a lot of people like it a lot of people ask um, what I have done to it <laughs> Just like that guy over there. Um, yeah, a lot of people ask, and a lot of people like it. It's, it could be loud at times, but you can, with the progressive tune, you can make it where if you're driving day to day, you know, commuting work or, I don't know, going home, if you don't want to step on it, you know, they won't be as loud, but then again, you have that choice where you want to step on it and make some really loud pops and catch some people's attention. And then with the uh, loud tune, there's really no option. Even at low RPM, it's really loud. But it's it's nice to have like at least that little option. That's why I like the, the progressive one. Sometimes I do run the loud pop one when I know there's there's gonna be a lot more uh, car enthusiasts that would like to hear those type of uh, sounds and types of music coming out, especially that note. Oh. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's nice and. I mean, it doesn't drone that bad. It does have a little drone because it is catless. But as long as you, there's like that sweet spot where you can have it cancel it. So I mean, you just get used to that and you're good. I, I cannot get over that, guys. Like. So beautiful. Or actually, what, what kind of pool we could get up in this? With the E30, what's your gas mileage like? With 91 pump fuel, high 30s. With the E30 blend, 
I probably get mid to low 30, so it's not too big of a difference. It just depends how, how you how you drive it. Driver mod. Yeah. Oh, right. All right, guys, so we're going to do a desktop run. And, uh, okay, meet in the level than 1.6. And we're going to put the GoPro on the door this time. We got the Brody. Hopefully it's still on there. All right. as fuck guys you heard of that that's Beethoven Symphony the seventh fucking popcorn <laughs> all right guys so that was the update with the Ford Fiesta 1.6 ST 2016 from Mr. Le Parti if they want to go ahead and follow your build where can they go ahead and follow it um it's a uh... Prieto 8459 on Instagram, so P-R-I-E-T-O 8459. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and end this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog as much as I did. Oh, man, this fucking portable popcorn machine. Let's put it in work. All right, guys, if you guys haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It will mean a lot to me, guys. It, I know it, it might sound weird, but, you know, I really appreciate you guys when you guys give me the feedback. It makes me feel like, you know, you guys are actually enjoying the videos. You guys are interacting with me. Um, again, I did mention in one of the videos, or actually in previous videos, that I want to do a subscriber meet. I think it would be pretty cool for all the car enthusiasts out there that uh, follow my channel. And if you're not, you still want to say what's up, I, I really want to go ahead and do that. Um, I'm going to make this an official poll and then we'll go ahead and select the date if it fall goes well, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Kilo K TV and I'm your host, Kilo K with Mr. Prieto. All right, guys. See you guys in the next vlog. Remember, guys, do what you love. Love what you do. And to the next video.